The 80s was a weird time to be a kid. A time when a hard R violent movie could inexplicably land you a toy line and children's cartoon. I grew up watching movies I was way too young for, with Robocop being one of my favorites as a kid. I remember playing it in the arcade, I had the NES version, Robocop was, and still is, totally awesome. I've seen the movie over a dozen times, loving it more and more each time I watch it. It holds up surprisingly well today, with a sense of drama and sarcastic wit that I was not able to appreciate as an eight-year-old. So, when I heard that a new RoboCop game was in development, I was certainly interested. And when I found out it was from Taeon, developers of the underrated and thoroughly underappreciated Terminator Resistance, which, if you're a Terminator fan, pick it up like yesterday, I was pretty much already on board. Of course, I wait for the reviews to come out, you never know if the game ends up being trash, and they were exactly what I thought they would be. 7 out of 10. And you know what that means, it's probably better than what that implies. Taeon isn't the biggest studio out there, I wasn't expecting review scores usually reserved for higher profile games from big name studios. What I did expect, given my experience with Terminator Resistance, was a game made with a lot of love by people that are true fans of the franchise, with a few technical issues here and there inherent to the limitations of a lower budget studio. And that is exactly what Rogue City is. As a RoboCop fan, it was an absolute joy to play, and worthy of the name RoboCop. Aesthetically, this is RoboCop. From the dirty streets of Detroit, the abandoned factories, the police station, right down to the pristine halls of OCP headquarters. Every inch of the game looks like it was pulled directly from the sets of the original movie. While it draws most of its inspiration from the first two films, it manages to retain that ugliness to its environments from the original that even the sequels couldn't manage to do. Story-wise, it's better than RoboCop 2. Not up to par with the original. I mean, that would be practically impossible. That thing is a masterpiece, but it gets it. It understands what made that movie great. The lampooning of corporate culture in America is spot on. The sarcasm is there. The little jokes hit much more than they miss. It doesn't come off as campy or corny as the sequels did. There's a cynical sincerity to the humor that remains true to the source material. Like, this world has become so violent that it's just a part of everyday life, and all you could do is kind of poke fun at it. The game also does a better job of exploring Alex Murphy's struggle between his human side and being Robocop than the sequels did. This is one of the things that made Robocop a compelling character to begin with. To its credit, Rogue City gives Robocop much more of a personality than he's ever had, which makes sense in a video game where you spend more time with the character. The story is more than entertaining enough, hitting all the typical RoboCop plot points. Street gangs, 
drug lords, evil corporations trying to take over everything. I would have liked it if they had fleshed out Murphy's struggle with humanity a bit more, and the main antagonist isn't as interesting as Clarence Boddicker, who is one of the most badass villains of all time, but it fits well into the universe and flows with the RPG-like structure of the gameplay. One thing that surprised me is how it incorporated the cop aspect of RoboCop in a way that not even the movies elaborate on all that much. Segments that highlight some of the mundanities of police life. Walking around the police station doing favors for your fellow officers, or patrolling the streets issuing tickets or helping solve crimes. Little side quests that not only help bring the world to life, but also offer a refreshing break from the action. This is one aspect of Robocop that I wondered how they were gonna get right. A near unstoppable walking tank that moves two miles an hour and obliterates everything in its path is not the easiest thing to turn into an engaging shooter. Ho oh, oh ho boy, did they. Oh, they got it right. And in the most Robocop way possible. Extreme ultraviolence. There's no strategy, no complexity to it. It is a power fantasy, pure and simple. Lumbering forward, mowing down everything in your path, limbs flying, explosions everywhere, environments torn to shreds. It is more fun than I've had with a shooter in years. This is the furthest thing from a standard shooter than I can imagine. Enemies weren't designed to be a challenge. They're bullet fodder, and that's the way it should be. It is so satisfying to line up headshot after headshot, grab a guy by the neck and launch him, or just punch them right in the face. Although, it's not like there's no actual challenge. Difficulty does scale up as you progress through the game. More and stronger enemies with better weapons that will wipe out your health bar, but you scale up right along with them, leveling up, gaining new abilities, slow-mo, a stun shock wave, ricocheting bullets off walls, just like in Robocop 2. The game does an excellent job making you feel OP the entire time, while also throwing enough chaos your way to keep you on your toes. Right from the very start, that is what every combat encounter is. Pure chaos. If Rogue City was only an action game, this approach to the combat would not work. The chaos would lose its impact, the fights would become boring. It's the RPG elements that hold it all together. The action set pieces are sprinkled in throughout the entire experience, and the game knows just when to hit the brakes on the chaos. The slow bits complement the action instead of interrupting it. It moves at the perfect pace, with quiet or dramatic moments either ending or beginning another intense battle. Combat escalates with each battle being more nuts than the previous one. This let me appreciate both aspects of the game because neither one dragged on for too long. As a fan, it was everything I could have hoped for. A game that captured the essence of the original film, which, in my opinion, is the only one that truly matters. The few problems I 
did have with the game were things I already knew would be there. Those technical issues. I only ever encountered a few frame rate drops here and there in the game. They didn't happen during combat, so whatever. For the most part, the graphics were gorgeous. Except for cutscenes and during dialogue. The entire game, it would do this weird thing that for a split second, there would be these pixely blocks on screen when it would switch from one scene to the next. Just for a tiny moment, but it is noticeable. A few random lip syncing issues here and there. None of these things ever affected the overall gameplay experience, and I quickly ended up disregarding them, but they are there, so I have to mention them. These are the things that might drop a game like this into the 7 out of 10 category. As far as I'm concerned, unless it's especially bad, affects gameplay, it's not all that important to me. How a game plays matters far more than how a game looks. Regardless, these are things that usually get patched out anyways, so someone playing this a year from now might not even know what I'm talking about. Either way, it wouldn't alter my review score all that much. Maybe a few percentage points. To me, Robocop Rogue City is 100% underrated and should be in the mid 80s, but that might be the fan in me talking. This was made by fans for fans. It is obvious when you look at the user score side of things. That score is much closer to what I would rate it. Rogue City is the most underappreciated game of the year, but an early Christmas gift for the fans. If you're not a Robocop fan, I mean, I don't know how that's even possible. If you haven't watched the movie, go and watch it now. Go watch the sequel too, it isn't that bad. Don't watch three though, that, that thing is a trash can. If you're not a fan by then, I don't know what to tell you. I watched it again after beating the game, and it is still one of my favorite movies of all time. Rogue City understands why.